Hello everyone, in this lecture we are just going to see some of the debugging picture of Keel ID. Let's get started. So you can see this is the same program of LED Blink that we wrote in the last lecture and we are just going to use the same program for testing the debugging feature of Keel IDE but before that you just want to enable the debugging feature of the microcontroller in CubeMX. So open the CubeMX. So this is the same CubeMX project that we created for LED Blink. So in this you just want to enable the debug feature for that go to the system core tab click on that and then click on this SYS system feature in this you can see the debug option is disabled so click on this disable drop down and you just want to select the serial wire debug for your nuclear board so click on the serial wire and that's it so you have enabled the debug option for the microcontroller and now again you just want to generate the code click on this generate code button on the top right corner of the window you can see the code is being generated again so this code will be generated again in the same place in the same folder so you just want to click on close once it is generated successfully and go to the keel software again here you can see a pop-up window is showing that file has been changed outside the editor click on yes again yes so that the file will be updated with the configurations whatever you are doing in CubeMX. So now the configuration for enabling debug option in the microcontroller is successful. So now what I am going to do is I am just going to add one more variable globally. So I am declaring a variable named unsigned int 16 of count and I am just going to increment that variable inside the while of one so once for every led blink cycle this count variable will be incremented by one so this is the logic now for compiling the sketch click on the compile button over here you can see the code has been compiled with zero errors and zero warnings. Now for downloading the flash to the nuclear board, connect the nuclear board to the PC USB port through USB cable. I am connecting it. Now after connecting, click on this download icon to download the flash. The flash has been downloaded successfully to the microcontroller STM32F446RE. Now to enter into the debug mode in the Keel IDE, click on this icon over here. So you can see this is the icon for starting a debug session as well as stopping a debug session. So click on this, click on OK. So now you can see the Keel IDE has been entered into debug session so you can see several icons listed out over here so i'm just going to explain some of the features of debug that we are going to use throughout this course that is enough for debugging the microcontroller code so i'm not going to show all the debug feature of the keel ide i'm just going to show what are all the features that i'm going to use throughout this course but I think that is sufficient for uh, debugging a sufficient code. So you can see this is the reset button which is used for resetting the program in the microcontroller and running it again. And this icon is used for running the microcontroller when the microcontroller is stopped. And this icon is used for stopping the code execution when the microcontroller is running. And the first and foremost thing that you want to know in debugging is breakpoint. So breakpoints are user defined points at which you want to stop the execution of the program. So for adding a breakpoint, you just want to enter into the gray area over here and just left click on it. 
you can see one red color dot will be placed when you click over here and this is called a breakpoint so whenever i place a breakpoint over here and i and when i start the program the program execution starts from the reset vector and enters into this main and once it enters into this while of one when the program when the program comes over here to this breakpoint the program execution will be stopped before executing this line so this is the purpose of the breakpoint so i'm just going to place two more breakpoints you can see i'm placing three breakpoints and when i run the microcontroller by clicking on the run button you can see the program has been started and it entered the while of one and it has been stopped in the first breakpoint so this arrow mark is indicating that and now for moving to the next breakpoint leaving the current breakpoint you just want to click on this you just want to click on the step over icon over here you can see the program has been started or resumed from the current breakpoint and it stopped in the next breakpoint and again if you click on this icon you can see the program has been moved to next breakpoint so this is the procedure for moving from one breakpoint to other breakpoint for debugging your logic so using this breakpoints you can rectify logical errors in your program by debugging step by step and also you can see there is another feature in the debugging called watch window you can see this is the icon for watch window so i am choosing watch one there are two windows watch one and watch two so i am clicking on watch one so this watch window is used for viewing the current value of any variable so if you want to view the value of this count variable you just want to select double click on this variable and right click on that select add count to watch one so the value will be added over here you can also click on this count variable and drag and drop into the watch window so there are two methods for adding this to the watch window so you can do whatever you want and then you can see this value is represented in hexadecimal so right click on this variable and check out this hexadecimal display so now it will be displaying in integer values so i am removing all the breakpoints and i am running the program you can see for every led cycle the count value is being incremented that is for every 2 second delay the count value is incremented by 1 so the value is being updated in the watch window so in this way you can monitor value of any variable you want using watch windows and another option is that you can see there is a system viewer window which is used for viewing all the SFRs of the microcontroller that is nothing but GPIOs, ADC registers, all the internal registers of the microcontroller. For example, here we know that we are just toggling the state of PA5 that is nothing but GPIOA 5th pin. So you can view the state of that pin that is here you can see GPIO, GPIOA. I am just clicking on this there is a window coming over here so these are the registers allocated for GPIO of the microcontroller that is GPIO A of the microcontroller I will tell you what that this ODR is nothing but output data register of the GPIO A and this IDR is nothing but input data register of GPIO A so as we have configured the pin as output I am just clicking on this ODR and you can see there are 16 pins ODR 0 to ODR 15 initially you can see here the ODR 5 has been checked on which is nothing but it is turned on or it is having a state 1 so now when I run the program again 
you can see the vodr 5 is toggling its state 10 10 10 so in this way you can also monitor whether the gpio is being changing its state so if you want to check the status of the input pin you just want to go to the idr register over here so this is the difference so that's all about the debugging options that you want to know and now for coming out of the debug session you just want to click on the same start debug session icon again you can see the keel ide is now entered into programming mode 